before I leave for vacation, I am going to Bogota, Colombia and I wanted to bring up the topic of insurance and answer the question, is my watch insured? So I'm not going to clickbait you, I'm going to answer it right here, right now. My Submariner is not insured um, for one pretty embarrassing reason, I just haven't had time to look into it. Um, so I did do a quick Google search this morning before I leave and um, I wanted to see prices and where I can get it and it appears that the banks here in Toronto, Canada they do charge quite a bit, about $500 a year. I think at that price, over a few years, you could definitely start to, to look into a second uh, stainless steel piece, um, uh, maybe an Omega or something like that. But there is another company called Jewelers Mutual, I believe. It's about $120 a year, which I definitely think is worth it for peace of mind and allowing you to take on bigger risks like traveling. Um, so, that's the reason I don't have insurance. I simply haven't looked into it, but I do think it's worth it, um, especially when you want to travel. And that's really the funnest part about owning these pieces, is traveling, going to new places, experiencing new things, and bringing that piece along with you. Um, and I have been to other provinces. I've flown on, on planes before with my watch, um, kind of domestically, but uh, never internationally. So. Um, I am going to Colombia and my insurance is going to be to leave it behind and wear something else like a Seiko or a Timex. Um, and you know, I, I see both sides of the coin here. It, it sucks that you have to leave your watch behind. I'm really going to miss it. I don't get to experience it to its fullest. It's just going to be sitting here collecting dust. Um, but it would also be a shame if I had it mugged or, or, or taken from me, even if I had insurance. It would really put a downer on the trip. And so for that reason, I'm leaving it behind. Um, but I do um, hope to get insurance um, so that I can travel with it worry-free um, and uh, really experience it to the fullest. So I see both sides of the coin here on why people choose to have insurance or not. And I just remembered a quote. Uh, it has nothing to do with insurance, but I do find it quite... Um, fitting here. It's about credit. Um, I had a mentor who always told me, if you need credit, it means you can't afford it. If you don't need credit, then you simply don't need it. Or I guess it's a, uh, if you can afford it, then you simply don't need it. So there you go. I, I really butchered that one. But um, I think insurance kind of works the same way. I'm, I was never a firm believer of insurance for things like electronics. When you buy like, I don't know, an Xbox and they ask if you want insurance, I always declined it. Um, because I feel like, uh, I think I read a statistics, a lot of these companies, like 90% of their profits is from insurance. Um, but I do think in cases like these, uh, for 120 bucks a year, you can't go wrong for a $10,000 piece. Um, I'm sure there are restrictions to it. I haven't looked into it, so I haven't checked the validity of these prices or policies, but I'm sure there's restrictions, like you can't travel outside the country, perhaps. Um, you have to keep it, if you have a... You have to have a, what is it called? A safety deposit box or a safe to store it when you're not wearing it. That might lower your premiums um, and so on. So I don't have my uh, Rolex insured. That was the whole point of this video. Thank you guys for all your support. I also have a new Instagram channel where I'm just posting pictures. Got a camera here. Um, a DSLR that I'm playing around with. If you want to go check me out there, my link is in the description. I'm probably more active there. It's just for fun. It's nothing serious. And that's what this channel is really all about. I'm not about serial numbers or movements or anything like that. I hope to get there one day, but that is not the purpose of this channel. The purpose is for me to just have fun with you guys, share my experiences, and that's it. So thank you guys. Happy Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you in a few weeks. Ciao!